in this video a Schmidt trigger circuit. And the Schmidt trigger circuit is a switch. That switch is on or off uh, at a very precise voltage. And here you can see the sense line, the sense voltage that's here. On a very precise voltage in this range and in this case between say uh, 23 volts and 24 volts. It can switch something on or off with the help of the relay. The diode protects the end transistor, not strictly necessary because the BD139 can handle a lot of voltage between the collector and the base, 80 volts. Uh, the capacitor gives of course a certain delay on how the um, relay acts. And of course with such a circuit, it's a kind of measuring circuit, measure circuit, you need a stabilized voltage and that's realized here with the 7812 and that's here. The 7812 gives out a very precise voltage on its output, 28 volts in, 12 volt out. The back side, this is the back side by the way, and that resistor, the, the aim of that resistor is to take away some heat before that heat is generated here in the 7812. This is the whole circuit. You can use it uh, on other voltages. Anyway, no problem at all. Pin connections of the 7812. I always use here two small bipolar capacitors to prevent oscillations. You can bridge that bipolar capacitor with an electrolytic of say 10 microfarad. Take the microfarad values the same on the input and the output. That's important to prevent that charge can flow back into the 7812. Could be that it is protected for that but anyway I always use that as a kind of safety measure. And here the connections, pin connections of the used transistors. Uh, classical transistors BC547 and also here a BC547. The Schmidt trigger is set to its working point, its bias, here with that 470k potentiometer. And you can see here that there is a voltage divider. And on a certain voltage here on the base of the first transistor, the whole circuit starts to switch. And that's in fact very, very critical. It acts in one hundredths of a voltage. I want to show that. Um, the circuit is set now to 20, 22.7 volts. Uh, it's an experimental setup, but anyway, here is a power supply. And with that power supply I give that Schmidt trigger uh, a voltage on the sense line. And here we see that voltage on the sense line. 17.55, of course, the circuit will not work on that voltage. Anyway, let's slowly drive up the sense voltage to the value where this circuit has to switch on or off. That depends on the relay. Relay has of course a make and a break contact. 
So here there is a switch moment. And you can see that it is a very critical moment. We read now say tens of a volt and in fact it acts on hundreds of a volt. Do that again. Where will it uh, activate? Where will the sense voltage activate the relay? So, uh, I've also made it here that this LED switches off and on. And of course when we, we change that switch moment by changing the potentiometer value to another to another value, of course that's done with this 65 ohms potentiometer, but you can choose another uh, voltage divider. That completely depends. Do some experiments. That's my uh, advice. So, higher voltage here. Let's look what happens. So, um, I've tested it all out in the past and these were the results. And of course you can use this circuit in other applications. For instance with 15 volts here. For instance with a, a series regulator with one transistor. That uh, gives the whole circuit a uh, precise supply voltage of say uh, 12 volts or so anyway. There are many uh, possibilities uh, with this circuit where you can switch something on or off on a very precise voltage in the range of one hundredths of a volt.